Japan in 997 is almost united, with much of the north still remaining free from consolidation. In this video, I unite Japan, and then strike outwards forming a Japanese empire that the world will fear. Let's start. Alright, so here we are. And this video might go up before or after the update comes out. Like, um, the new update for Crusader Kings 3, I mean, not this mod. So, this is probably gonna be outdated, maybe? Question mark? I don't know. But, anyways, I'm playing as this guy here, and I'll be honest, I don't know a single bit about Japan's history, really. And I'm not gonna act like I do. So... My guy is gregarious, brave, and diligent, and he's really good in diplomacy. I really wanted a guy that's good in martial because obviously, I'm gonna have to conquer quite a bit here. He has seven kids, oh my god, and we have partition law too. Great! I would say my first most important thing to do is obviously consolidate Japan here, and then just form my Japanese empire here first. I'm actually one county away from forming it. I might as well just get that one county right now actually. Let's go and get this one here. Alright, there's that one county I need. Here's the kingdom I need. And it's time to sit on my hands and wait for 800 gold. Before I do that, actually, let me get an alliance with this guy up here. This way my player heirs, like kids, should have claims on this empire. And that'll make it super easy to conquer all this land. How many counties? 73 counties. That's pretty good. Okay, this is definitely interesting. Um, I guess I'm gonna help him conquer Korea. The way I'm gonna rationalize this of why I'm even helping him out is that if I do take over his empire, having Korea a part of it will definitely help out. Sure, I'll help. He just absolutely steamrolled Korea. He is horrifying. I'm just glad that he's my ally. I am such an idiot. This pop-up just showed up where I could have easily converted to this faith. And I chose no, because usually all Buddhist faiths, you can't just really conquer at all. But, of course, this is the only one that has Warmonger. I can almost convert. After I'm done forming this empire, I guess I'll just save up my piety and just convert to it. Finally, I can get this. And now we're the Japanese Empire. I still need to sit and wait though to get enough money to go on a pilgrimage. This is going great. Thank you, Vassal. And let's go. I got like 175 piety from that. I don't think I'll be able to convert in this life. I just won't have time. Luckily enough, my son is zealous, so a plus 20% piety gain. I'll probably just do it with him. All right, it's time. Well, that was easy. Thank you. Now there's two Liao's on the map. One of them was the original, and the other's just Korea. My alliance is over with him though, that kinda sucks. And I can't negotiate either. I'm just gonna keep on pushing north here. I really have no reason to stop. There's a duchy, there's a duchy, and then here's a duchy. Uh, I'll probably hold off on this one actually. He has some friends that'll join, so I'll pass on that one. And some more. Oh my god, dude. If I have to conquer the Song Dynasty or like even like little bits of China, not even the entire thing, just bits, it's gonna be very hard to do. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. 20k troops. I guess we're gonna find out soon enough. I might as well start branching out and over here looks like a really good choice. Super weak. All the land over here is really bad. You know, there's like zero dev, just tribal lands, but it looks good on the map and that's all that matters. Oh, okay. So yeah. This is that one thing where the guy tries to come into your courtroom and just kill you. And I guess my son was a casualty in that. I think it's obvious what I'm going to do. Blind and imprison him. And I'm disfigured too now. Yeah, I was not wrong. The supply limit over here is so bad. But it's over, thankfully. So there we go. Well, the HRE's screwed. <laughs> There's not a chance in a hell that the HRE survives from this. If it does, by any chance, I'll be super surprised. I might as well start moving down to these islands over here. Let's go ransom him out for some money. Oh, well, that's great. All right, ransom her out. There we go. And now we got it. And with this war being over, I should own everything that Japan has in like real life right now. So, cool. I took over the rest of the islands over here, by the way. Just looking at this without context, you might think this is pretty stupid, but reason number one of why I'm doing this is that I really have no other options. I have nobody else to really do Holy War for Kingdoms on. And number two, the second half of Taiwan's trying to take them over, and if that does happen, I'm basically helpless. I would have to fabricate claims on their duchies and do like five wars on them. Or just three, but still. I'm not doing that, man. So, let's do this. This half of Taiwan's ours. And now we're at war with them too. And I'm thinking of adding a new trait to our culture. If I had to choose out of everything, actually I need to get rid of one of these. Which one do I really want? I don't really care about this one, Noble Adoption. 
Who's using that, man? Not me. Oh, never mind. That is really expensive. I'm 65 years old. I might survive to get that piety. Probably not, though. Pretty unfortunate. It's time to do the final war I'm going to do with this guy here. He's done a lot of work. I think it's finally time to let him rest for a few years. He just became my vassal. That sucks. This is by far the coolest thing I've seen in this game for quite a bit. So the Pechenegs, who were like a part of this kingdom here, have separated, and they're basically just taking over Hungary. <laughs> you know? Like what Hungary was historically, Pechenegs are now. And to make it even cooler, they're Manichaean. If I can't get by the sword, I'll just get another thing here. Ruling caste. It'll take 40 years to get though. It does make different culture peasant factions less common, which I think I'll probably need throughout this playthrough. I really just don't feel like risking staying alive for 15 more years to try to get enough prestige. I don't think it'll work out. Anyways, ruling cast it is. Oh, what? I did not mean to do that. All of Taiwan's ours. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. He wasn't supposed to do any more conquest. Oh well, I forgot. I definitely made a mistake not waiting. This guy is just living forever. I really thought he'd be gone by now, but he's still here. These provinces over here are super high in dev. Probably a smart idea to take them. Well, I can, that is. Well, isn't this great? We're completely screwed. I'm not winning this war. Okay, 900 gold. I mean, I just have to bite the bullet. I'm not winning this. What a pain, dude. Uh, surrender. What an absolute idiot. For some reason, this guy's trying to kill me. Like, just some random dude. Who even are you, man? Our Shogun is finally dead at 86 years old. Now we're playing as our grandson, who is honestly not too good by any means. Diligent, gregarious, wrathful. Wrathful is a sin in our religion, so it's even worse than usual. I get a minus 20 opinion with Corley and um, parochial vassals, which is really good. I love that. I'm just gonna try to keep this together. Little dude is born with a man bun. I feel sorry for him. This guy wants to die. He's not gonna win this. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not gonna eat my words. He can't be called against his liege or vassals. He's not your liege or your vassal. So what does that have to do with anything? How is he your vassal or liege? Is he your tributary? No, he isn't. I don't know what the deal is. I really don't. Oh, that's why. He's allied to him as well. I can't fight this right now. I'll just lose. There's really no point. And there's 19 members? Holy crap. Why does everybody hate me? Everybody just has terrible personalities, apparently. Yeah, that's really it. Everybody just has a really bad personality. There's that. Can you imagine being these Cambodian troops? Just going away from your tropical paradise up to a frozen hellscape with literally nothing there, like, at all. It should shock absolutely nobody. I want this guy dead. He needs to go away. So now my number one priority is just really just to kill him. And it's time for him to die. Please, please, can you do it? Oh my god, you're not gonna be able to do it. That is, that sucks so bad, dude. Why am I going over there? I'm going back home, apparently. Oh no, I'm just going over there. Three terrible provinces, thousands of people dead. Definitely a pretty good trade. At least we look good now. This is gonna look kind of awkward because the Philippines can't be conquered. It's just gonna be going from like Taiwan to Borneo. It'll look good enough, I'm sure. Oh, these poor people have no idea what's coming for them. Finally, time to convert to this warmongering Buddhist faith, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. Our own pilgrimage is pretty cool. Hedonistic? That one kind of is bad. Being gluttonous is not a very good trait by any means. Making temperate a sin, that's horrible. And of course, warmonger. Luckily enough too, all the eastern face should see us as just being astray instead of being hostile. So we can still get allies, you know, do all that other stuff. Most of my vassals will convert. It's time. And there we are. Now we're Shin Buddhist. Glory to Buddha. We're definitely overdue for some expansion over here. If anyone can tell me the history of Brunei and why there's a level 5 fort there in 1067, I would love to know. But anyways, it's mine. Nice. And there's that. 
So I just noticed that I do have a Holy War for Kingdom CB. I don't know who I can use it on though. Really everyone around me is Buddhist except for this guy here, but this is only one province. And I'm not doing a Holy War for Kingdom CB for one province. So Holy Wars are basically just worthless. I do know that at some point because I got Warmonger in my religion that I will be able to do an Invade Kingdom CB. It's time for my Invade Kingdom CB. Korea is my like most obvious choice to pick. I kind of wish I still had the Song as an ally, but I don't. Can I make it my ally again? It's not looking like it. Hopefully this will be easy for me. That was by far the biggest war so far, but we got it. Nice. This guy over here is going crazy, man. The key max here are going to take out this entire kingdom here. Just instantly like that. This is unfortunate. I'll win it. It's just a waste of time though. It looks bad, but I'm, I'm honestly not too worried. This is becoming a much bigger pain than I thought it'd be. <laughs> I've called it basically the entire eastern half of the world to help me out in my civil war here. Because the Sungard is sitting over here doing nothing. Just not even helping me. Okay, we should win. I don't know why this is so hard. I want you guys to know, like, there was like five members of this faction, and then just all of a sudden it jumped up to 12, just out of nowhere. So, this completely caught me off guard. It's looking good, though. Well, it's not looking good, but it's looking like I'll win. Okay, there we go. All these guys are getting their titles revoked. I've come to a pretty rough conclusion here, is that it's gonna take a really long time for me to conquer swaths of land down here. All these guys are my faiths. And I only have one Invade Kingdom CB, which I can use. I might have to convert to another Faith, which is gonna suck horribly. I really think our only option here is to switch our Faith to a completely different one. I could just switch it to Catholicism and then just do it that way. That is an option, I guess. But I still will need Buy the Sword to get it. Oh, actually, it's a lot cheaper now for some reason. That sounds like a plan to me. I'm just cleaning up my borders at this point, and I'm still thinking about what to do with my religion. Because if I go for Catholicism, I won't have warmongers, so constantly doing wars, my vassals will just hate me and just want to get rid of me. So I need to find some kind of middle ground where it's not an Eastern faith, but it's also a warmonger faith. I know that Almohadism does have warmonger in it, and it's not an Eastern faith, so I could end up creating a Muslim Japan here, just for like the meta. Which is something I definitely didn't think I'd be doing this game, but it might happen. Bad news. And for some reason, I think I've came across the same exact issue in another one of my videos with this mod. I'm pretty sure I have, because I'm feeling deja vu. Amohadism doesn't have Warmonger as a tenant in this mod, so I can't even go to that one. So it's looking like Catholicism it is. I've lived so long that my son and my grandson have died. Now I'm on to my second grandson who is... Oh, actually, gluttonous is a good thing in this version, or in this faith right now. But when I do convert to Catholicism, it's not going to be too good. That's unfortunate. Our Shogun has finally been shown mercy and he's dead at 92 years old. Now we're playing as our grandson. Like I said, good for now, but eventually he's gonna become really bad. My main priorities with him is to really just hoard all his prestige, get his piety up, and then convert. It's a sad day today, man. How in the world, by the way, how did this faith here survive? How? It's been like hundreds of years and somehow it survived, but this faith is gonna die before it. I can't get anything going this game. Now it's just increased by like sevenfold the cost of converting. I could always go down the learning tree and do all that, but it's like, do I really want to do that? Not really, man. I really don't. I just finished a legend here and I gained this access to the demand local submission decision, allowing me to subjugate any nearby realm. If I remember, I'm pretty sure that little CB there is unlimited. So basically what it's going to be is unlimited invade kingdom CBs. If I'm remembering right, that is. Nice, there's that done. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'll have 15 years to use it. My guy's 44 and he should live 15 more years, so why not, man? I'm doing nothing else here, really. And let's see this thing. Demand fealty. Alright, welcome on in. And I would say the next most obvious guy to get is going to be this rude kingdom over here. There he is. Alright, we are looking absolutely horrifying right now. We've just expanded so much in such a short period of time. I would be terrified if I was a song. Can someone explain this? Why is it all of a sudden so cheap? I did get this one here, apostate. Faith conversion cost minus 75%. But what's the deal with it being that cheap? It was around 12,000 piety needed before. Now it's 432. So it looks like Roman Catholicism in the end will be the one I convert to, which is interesting, I guess. I went through an entire thing dealing with this and I just really came to the same conclusion. 
This is the best one to pick. Now we look a little bit better. And this war here is going to be super painful. We're kind of evenly matched here. I do have access to my Bade Kingdom CB. I'm probably going to use it on him. Here's an update. This is the first time I've touched a save today, so I kind of forgot what I said. But I do remember I said something about this. I think he died, this ruler here. Yep, he died a year ago and his realm completely split apart. He just became easy pickings, thankfully. Nice. All right, it's finally time for this one here. I think I'm going to end this video after this guy dies. I just can't really do anything else with this save, really. The Sung are just unstoppable, just monsters, and I can't really do anything for them. And just, it would take a lot of time to get the prestige needed. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of busy. I don't have time to wait an hour to get 8,000 prestige to convert. I just don't. Let's go and take this Cambodian kingdom here. This mod has so many painful wars involved in it. I had to call on the song to even win that war. It is over though, thankfully. And I should be able to also convert to Christianity too. 91 out of 102 vassals will convert. I can't even scroll down really, it's so laggy, but I'll try. Most of these guys are people I just got vassalized, it looks like. So I guess I'll hold off, grant out titles, and then I'll get it done. I'm kind of worried that when I convert, all my vassals are going to get a really, really high offensive war negative penalty against me. We'll see. Let's do this. And let's see the damages. Do people hate me? They do hate me. They hate me quite a bit. Oh no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not dealing with this. You guys got me messed up if you think I am going to deal with this. That is not going to happen. I really, really try to make the save like work. It's been fighting me basically the entire time though. There's just no chance in hell I'm fighting that. <laughs> I'm not going to fight that. So taking a look at us, we have Japan, Korea, and um, Manchuria. We have half of Borneo, I'd say, and then this part of Cambodia. The majority of our province actually didn't convert to Roman Catholicism, which is something, I guess. The Song Dynasty are unstoppable at this point. Nobody can fight them. Nobody really stands out in Southeast Asia besides Java and him here, but he's dying right now to people. In India, the two most interesting guys are these two South Indian guys down here. The Persian Empire is falling apart. Tataria has already fallen apart. Somehow this empire has lasted so long throughout this entire game. The Bulgarians, though, almost have their 867 borders, which is kind of interesting. They actually somehow survived their debacle from being Greek Orthodox. France is split in half between Brittany and France. Andalusia has consolidated most of Iberia, England, Elba, and then just Scandinavia is kind of ugly. Denmark is pretty impressive though. And Norway is a Lollard. Pretty cool. Looking at religions, this world is a Shiite world. Shiite dominates the world. Bulgarian Orthodox killed Manichaeism, unfortunately. Greek Orthodox has a huge chunk of the HRE. Same with Slavic Orthodox too, somehow. And of course, a Lollardy, like I said. So, yeah. If you guys have any other ideas for videos, just let me know. And thanks for watching.